What's up everyone? Today, we're diving into something that's sending shockwaves through the developer community, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, released by Anthropic on February 25, 2025. This isn't just another AI update, this is a seismic shift in what AI can do. I've spent the last 72 hours pushing this model to its absolute limits, burning through millions of tokens, testing it against impossible challenges, and comparing it to every competitor on the market. And I'm still struggling to process what I've discovered. Let me put it bluntly. Claude 3.7 isn't just better than previous models. It fundamentally changes the game with its new reasoning mode and the revolutionary Claude Code CLI tool. The benchmarks are insane. 70.3% success rate on real GitHub issues, blowing past GPT-40, DeepSeek, and everything else currently available. But numbers don't tell the whole story. What's truly mind-blowing is how it solves problems, thinking through solutions step-by-step, step, understanding entire code bases, and producing production-ready code that actually works in complex environments. In this video, I'll show you six jaw-dropping demonstrations that reveal exactly what makes Claude 3.7 different, what it means for the future of programming, and whether those viral tweets about developers being cooked are actually true. Whether you're a professional developer worried about your job, a tech enthusiast trying to understand the AI revolution, or just curious about what the cutting edge of AI looks like in 2025, this is the one video you need to watch. Let's get started with our first demonstration, seeing Claude's reasoning mode in action. Let's dive straight into what makes Claude 3.7 different from everything else, its reasoning ability. Unlike other models that just spit out an answer, Claude can actually show you its thinking process. Watch what happens when I give it this incredibly complex logic puzzle that most humans would struggle with. This is the classic zebra puzzle, sometimes called Einstein's riddle. It requires tracking multiple variables across five houses to find who owns the zebra. Notice how Claude breaks this down methodically, tracking each constraint and building a solution step by step. Notice how Claude breaks this down methodically, tracking each constraint and building a solution step by step, just like a human detective would. Did you catch that? When using reasoning mode, Claude didn't just guess. It built a complete table, checked for contradictions, and found the solution with confidence. This isn't just about getting the right answer, it's about how it gets there. When I ran the same prompt on another model, it either gave up or made critical mistakes in its reasoning. This is problem solving that mimics human thought, not just pattern matching. Now let's test Claude on something every programmer struggles with, detecting cycles in a directed graph. This is the kind of algorithm question that trips up junior developers in interviews and can cause real headaches in production code. I'm giving Claude this challenge without any hints on how to solve it. Watch how it approaches the problem. It's immediately recognizing that this is a classic graph theory problem that requires depth-first search. But the impressive part is how it handles edge cases and explains the algorithm as it goes. This solution is textbook perfect. It identifies the right approach, implements it cleanly, and even explains the time and space complexity. But what blows me away is that Claude isn't just regurgitating code, it's genuinely understanding the computational problem. When I asked it to optimize this further or adapt it to a slightly different scenario, it did so without breaking a sweat. This level of programming intelligence is what has developers truly nervous. Here's where things get scary for professional developers. I'm going to show Claude a real React component with performance issues, something that would typically require an experienced front-end developer to diagnose and fix. I'm giving Claude this data table component that's suffering from render performance issues. Look at how quickly it identifies the key problems. Unnecessary re-renders, inefficient data processing, missing memorization. But the real magic is what comes next. Claude didn't just spot the issues. It rewrote the component with proper React optimization patterns like use memo, use callback, and virtualization. It even suggested architectural changes like moving filtering logic to a custom hook. This is senior level React optimization that typically takes years of experience to master. And Claude did it in seconds with zero context about the rest of the application. Finding bugs in someone else's code is one of the hardest tasks in programming. 
Let's see if Claude can identify and fix a subtle bug in this algorithm implementation that looks correct at first glance. I'm showing Claude this longest increasing subsequence function that's failing on certain inputs. The bug is subtle. It's returning the length of the longest subsequence, but not the actual subsequence itself. Watch how Claude analyzes the code. Did you see how Claude not only found the issue but also explained why the bug was occurring? This level of debugging skill is remarkable because it requires understanding both the algorithm's intent and its implementation details. Claude is essentially performing the role of a senior developer who can spot issues that would take hours of debugging to find manually. Now let's push Claude even further with something that combines multiple disciplines, business analysis, data visualization, and strategic thinking. I'm asking Claude to analyze a 5% monthly churn rate for a SaaS business, create visualizations, and provide strategic recommendations. This requires understanding business metrics, financial modeling, and effective communication to executives. Claude just performed analysis that would typically require a business analyst, a data scientist, and a product strategist working together. It calculated the compounding effect of churn over time, benchmarked against industry standards, suggested effective visualization approaches, and provided actionable recommendations, all in one go. This isn't just answering a question, it's solving a complex business problem end to end. The final test is perhaps the most important. Can Claude handle topics with ethical nuance and provide balanced, thoughtful analysis? Let's see how it handles a complex question about AI in hiring. I'm asking Claude to analyze the ethical implications of using AI in hiring decisions, a topic with legitimate considerations on both sides and significant real-world impact. What stands out here is Claude's ability to present a truly balanced perspective without resorting to generic platitudes. It acknowledged potential benefits like efficiency and reduction of certain biases, while also highlighting genuine risks around reinforcing historical patterns and creating new forms of discrimination. It provided specific technical safeguards and policy frameworks, not just vague recommendations. This level of nuanced thinking is what separates Claude 3.7 from its predecessors and competitors. Now that you've seen Claude 3.7 in action, let's talk about what this means for the industry and for you. Let's address the elephant in the room. Claude 3.7 isn't cheap. At $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens, it's significantly more expensive than competitors like GPT-40 Mini at $1.10 in and $4.40 out. But here's the reality. If you're doing serious development work, the increased quality and reliability often justifies the cost. One successful debugging session or code refactor could save hours of developer time, which quickly pays for itself. For everyday use, you might want to use Claude through platforms like T3 Chat, which offers access for $8 per month, much more reasonable than burning through API credits. On performance, Claude 3.7 absolutely dominates in software engineering benchmarks, solving over 70% of real GitHub issues compared to around 50% for the closest competitors. It's especially strong with code understanding, refactoring, and complex logic problems. However, it's worth noting it's not the leader in every category. Models like GPT-40 and DeepSeek outperform it in pure mathematics. On integration, what makes Claude 3.7 particularly valuable is its new Claude Code CLI tool. This lets Claude understand your entire code base and make changes directly to your files. While it's still in research preview, my testing shows it's already capable of handling complex refactoring tasks across multiple files while maintaining type safety and preserving application logic. On future impact. The question everyone's asking, will Claude 3.7 replace programmers? The short answer is no, not completely, but it will absolutely change how we work. The programmers who learn to leverage Claude effectively will have a massive productivity advantage over those who don't. Think of it like this. Claude won't replace programmers, but programmers who use Claude effectively will replace those who don't. The future isn't about competing with AI, it's about collaborating with it.
what this means for you. If you're a developer, start experimenting with Claude 3.7 now. Learn its strengths and limitations. Figure out how to integrate it into your workflow. The early adopters will have a significant advantage as these capabilities become mainstream. If you're a business leader, consider how these tools could transform your development processes. The productivity gains could be substantial, but they require thoughtful integration. And if you're just interested in AI, understand that we've crossed a threshold where AI isn't just assisting with coding. It's actively participating in the development process with reasoning capabilities that increasingly mirror human thought. What we're witnessing with Claude 3.7 isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a fundamental shift in how AI approaches problem solving. The addition of visible reasoning, the Claude Code CLI, and the dramatic improvements in code quality mark a new era for AI in software development. I put all the prompts I used in these demos in a GitHub repo linked in the description. Try them yourself and see what you think. If you found this helpful, subscribe for more deep dives into breakthrough AI technologies. The AI revolution in programming isn't coming, it's already here. The question is whether you'll be leading it or catching up.